Hi guys, and welcome back to another plot review. So today we are on the K-plots, and we're in Conquest, so we're on the medieval side of things on the server. Now, the K-plots are the biggest plots you've probably ever seen. They're, they're the huge plots. <clears throat> anyway, yeah, to give you guys an idea, this is a very, very big one, and it's a very, very cool one. Um, so this is actually a white run build. So I go white run, and I've got a torch in my hand. Uh, so this has been built by Ehren Erendel. Ehrendel and uh, Thalanil, the elves, and also the helper is Erelith. It's the elves, it's Team Elf Elf Club. Um, <laughs> our PC it, uh, or PMC is Mundus. Uh, in the conquest, 10.5 better footage for better experience. And this plot is very much based on, based on the white run from Skyrim, the Elder Scrolls 5. Um, but yeah, have fun exploring the plot. We have lots of Easter eggs. Thanks. Fran Fralan deals Nutella in the trap. What? In the map. I don't know. Basically guys, it's it's really really cool. Um yeah, I even like this. It's like a shouting ball, obviously. Oh, this has got to be a shouting ball. Look at it. It's like a broken down shouting ball. Uh in like a toomey thingy with the draugas. Wow, look at that. There's even armor and the elven axe and glass sword. Glass sword. Oh they renamed it. Eh, yeah, wicked. See, it's the little things, isn't it? It's the little things in life. Or Minecraft. Now, the one thing that I don't know is where you actually start from from here. But obviously they've got a nice little cave in this bit. Which goes to this very Skyrim-esque random hole that... When you're in caves in Skyrim, you know that you see that weird bit of light at the top and you can never find it. But these guys have made it. Anyway, that is to Riverwood. Riverwood. Okay. So look at this. We've got a white run over here. I don't even think that that's going to be far. I don't even think I'm going to be able to, I'm going to be able to see all of it, to be honest. But um, This is going to be a very difficult pot to do because it's so big. I've had a quick fly around on it, but I, I, I just haven't been able to explore all of it. It's With K plots, it's so big. Now, I have got my reviewing stuff just in case we find any little mishaps. There we go, got Solitude White Run. And uh, we've also got uh, Ivarstead. Oh yeah, Ivarstead, Windhold, and Windhelm, Riften. What's got on the other side? Nothing on the other side. Okay. Interesting. We got all this stuff. So let's just have a look at that little path that we went down. So that's the river from uh, Riverwood. Makes sense. We have got some of the little little mountains. Well, they are kind of little mountains, aren't they? Got the mountains around here. Where the hell does this path go to? Just oh, okay, like a gravy thing. Is there a grave thing? I don't know, but it kind of works, doesn't it? We've got some like trees on weird rocks and, and stuff like that. I love the trees on an angle, by the way. These are awesome. These are awesome. Look at those. Wicked. Okay, so we've explored roughly this bit very poorly. Oh my god, I almost thought there was going to be something down there. <gasps> anyway, yeah, very, very quickly have we explored this. Okay, so I think what we're going to try and do... I don't know how we're going to do this, actually. I have no idea, but look at that, there's, uh, there's some snow that's gone down that bit. I'm going to have a rock there, so that's one of the paths, so there's two paths there, we've got a nice little cart thingamajiggy. Cool, and we've also had somebody that's been horribly murdered on the road, and their cart's been crushed. That's a nice idea really, isn't it? Oh, uh, wow, well, I say nice idea, <laughs> that's a, that's an idea, isn't it? <laughs> having, the, having the cart on the side of the road, that's really cool actually. Even though it's, you know, wrecked and stuff, and look, there's a wheel that's just obviously flown off or something, and got some mud there. Actually, even this is really good. Having the mud around the, yeah, around the uh, good old trees and stuff. Why the hell didn't I think about that? That's really good though. Oh, look at this. This is cool. Anyway, that's that bit. Obviously, you guys are probably more interested in the rest of it. But there we go. We've gone down there. We've gone a little bit down this bit. So what have we got now? I don't know if I should. Hmm. Actually, no. I know what I can. It could be improved instantly. It's the paths. It just feels a little bit... A little bit sudden. This is better. Ah, I like this. So I'm actually going to put up a comment and say more paths like these. Because um, I think so anyway. And one thing that I like to use anyway. Like these. Uh, is actually the hell biome. The hell biome because it's, a, a, it's like a grey ash. It actually works quite well for like stones and stuff. Um, I think the other little thing that I could have actually... 
made a little bit better because I've because I've I'm still working on that Skyrim thing that I started when I started using Conquest. Um, like the little bits and pieces that I've I've kind of like learned from doing that. Uh, it's actually pretty crazy. Like it's just tiny little things, but like, okay, that's extreme hills. I think it's all extreme hills as a biome. Um, is the good old, which isn't that old. There we go. So possibly using those and stuff like that around the side and and making the, the like paths lift up a little bit. It's going to be super different. Yeah. There you go. So I'm doing this in a bit of a different style, I think. Um, use stone. Drop doors. It's kind of a it's a personal taste this bit. But sometimes it can be good. Um, I was going to say for extra detail, but they'll watch this. Um, yeah, so it just makes it a lot more varied. Cause I, I don't know. This part feels really good. This feels really cool. And then this feels a little bit lacking. But then you get bits like this, which feel really good. Like this, I really like. The, just the bits of like grass and stuff. Um, it, it just makes it feel less dead. Whereas this feels a little bit world edited. Um, which it probably is, obviously. But look at that, that's really cool. See how it all like merges in. It's really good. Though they can use the grass uh grass dirt layer obviously. Grass snow layer even. Possibly a grass snow layer instead of those, because there's quite a lot of heavy use of that. So maybe mix them in and, and vary it. Oh look at these. So we've got some weird fields here with the weird mushroom debris what's it? Very cool. The river's quite nice actually though. So there we go, and we've got the nice like random scouring rocks. I do like this. I do like how like muddy it is and how they've used the the four cone on nine rock. The new one. Or new cobblestone. It's very, very cool. Okay, now let's get into the house. Alright, so we've got a very typical rock of the Skyrim world. We've got some like flies and stuff around. Now look at this. This looks awesome. It's so obviously like um my one of my Nordic like styles. Uh, not styles. My my Nordic series even. Not one of my Nordic series. My only Nordic series that I've kind of stopped at the minute. Uh, like the houses were based off this, so it's going to be interesting to see how they've done it like differently. Mine were huge; these are still pretty big, but like I like the details they put in it already, and I like these the use of this. This is very cool. Anyway, let's have a look over here. So we've got a barn. Oh, that's a very cool barn. What's this? Oh, honey brew meadery. I always read it as honey dew, and some people are going to be like honey dew. I watch them, but these are very cool. Look at those fire ladders. Barrel? I think it's the iron barrel. It looks like the iron barrel. Is it the iron barrel? <gasps> no, it's normal barrel. Okay. It's a normal barrel. So ignore me. Um and then you got those. That's actually really, really clever for those. Look, we've got a moose head. Awesome. And that goes into a cave, okay. I think we've already found one of these secret type of things. What's going down down there? Why does that weird me out? It's just because it like has this floor and somebody's put the floor in and then it hits that. Not so sure about that. I would have like maybe dirted up the floor or something. I don't know. But the amount of like Enviro slabs in here is awesome. Oh, we got dirt there. Okay. I think could have used a little bit of the hog tang moss. You know, the the twenty twenty kind of thirteen. It feels a little bit like. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out where the hell we are. So we're we're in the back now. See, I can't remember. I haven't I haven't played Skyrim for so long. I do like, however, the beams. They look awesome in here. This is very dark. <laughs> they could do with some light, like fire. Um, so that I think is a very fair comment, especially with the light sources. Um, now, if they don't know how to do invisible fire, well, that's another thing. Um, if you actually grab some sand, and if you do your whole eye fire, this only really works on 1.7, I didn't realise. Um, and if we put down, for example, that piece of sand, you can actually put that on top of it, delete the sand, and look at that invisible fire. How cool is that? Um, yeah, especially when you get these ones, it's always best to, to shove them up, because uh, like a little bit of invisible fire, just so that it makes it look like it's being lit. Uh, it's kind of like more of a trick rather than anything else, but if you walk into it, obviously you get on fire, so... With this, with the with the actual beams, I think it could have done did that. Now, what the hell have we got here? This is interesting. What the hell's this? I can't even remember. I've I've been in this brewery and I can't remember it at all. I like that though. How you have to like sneak underneath that, possibly. Hey, hey, 
Let's have a look in here. I like this. It's a weird banister thing. Okay. Well, that was odd. <laughs> okay, cool. So we got all the bottles anyway. So lots of bottles. We've got a little bag thing. Is there anything else? Nope. Okay, let's keep on going. So we're now into the main bar. Look at that. This looks cool, doesn't it? You got some... Like, are these stools? I'm guessing these are stools. The stools, you get some food. You got the drinks thing up there. I like the, I like the cabinet up on the top. It's very cool. And that is going to be the next door. So that was kind of cool. I think the, the cave definitely could have done with a little bit of the hanging moss. Um, just to make it feel a little bit more, you know. So I'll put a comment about that. At least they're going to be able to actually see these comments. Um, I'm not too sure about that grass block. But I know that they've done it. That block, the grass block that they've used. No, no, it hasn't. No, that's not. I was thinking the grass block that they've used is for something else. Um, where is it? Yeah, it's the stalactite one. But I don't want to change the biomes in case there is an extra biome. Yeah, they got extreme pills plus. Um, well, I'm still shoving in a comment just in case they can do it. Um, possibly add in the hanging mus, just to make it like feel a little bit more full, I guess is the, is the right word. Um, not really full, but more hidden and more overgrown and that type of stuff. Like, it's got all the moss around it, it's just that we've got that extra conquest block, so use it. But I love this, and the honey pot as well, that looks awesome. Oh, because yeah, of course it's got honey in it. Uh, duh. It's using the custom heads feature that we got on the server, that's really good. Look at all this, though. I've got some, like, bays of hail, and uh, bays of hail? That's definitely not it. <laughs> Hay bales. <laughs> We've got hay bales. It's been a long week for me, guys. So if I'm a bit nuts, that'd, that'd be why. There we go. Got another rock as well. Ah, oh, this looks cool. And down here. Look, there we go. That's the house. The house itself is very cool. I like the variation on it. It's just very good style. It does feel um, like the correct style for, for this whole thing. I'm going to try to go away from that for the time being because I know that it's going to be full of detail. Um, I'm going to go another cart. I'm going to go down this, though. This little path looks awesome. Look at this. So we've got a lot of, a lot of stuff in here. We've got some bees there. Natural bees. And at the back, here we go. We've got a pig. A little camp. Very cool. And an eagle flying above the camp. Okay. Fair enough. Um, have we got anything around here? No, but I do like the use of Enviro Slabs at the bottom. I do like it. The yeah, problem is Enviro Slabs can be this addictive thing. Oh, a mine. So it's got to be a mine, hasn't it? This is very cool. Okay. Only question with the mine. Okay, maybe that could be where they're dumping it. Because whenever you, obviously, whenever you take out any material out of a, a, like, if it's not a natural, a perfectly natural one, this is the thing with Minecraft, uh, not Minecraft, with Skyrim, actually, it doesn't really make any sense. You would, like, mine some of this rock, you would then get the, the, the like, gravelly stuff, the, the rocks you've broken up. You need to dump them. So maybe they've dumped some here. Maybe they've dumped some here and here. They've got a little bit around there, and actually, no, actually, actually, I think it's all right. It doesn't look very, very clear like they've got a big pile, but they've instead like done it in separate bits, and actually, that's all right. That's not too bad. This does look a little bit flat, though, doesn't it? This bit here, I think that's because there's a room there. It's just there's something about. Oops, oh, I've got that on. There's something about this. I don't know. We'll see what this looks like on the inside. If there's a, there's a reason for it. But let's have a look in here. Let's turn off the light. I'm going to take away my torch anyway. This is very cool, though. The, like, the inv use of virus labs in these places is brilliant. And this actually does feel very scarring with these random scrolls and stuff. Oh, awesome. Love it. That's wicked. Especially this, like, draw thing. Just with those those good old uh, Dubrow Watsons. Ha! Huh. Cool. Like it. Like it. Okay, now let's go down here. Ah, see, there isn't anything over there. So they could, could do a little bit of shaping on there, I think. Okay, if we go in here, so we've got some, like, so it's an, uh, 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 what's it called? Coal. Coal mine. Okay, let's keep on going down here. It's very, very dark, and that's the end of it. Okay. That's fine. Yeah, it's kind of cool, though. It's nice and simple. Oh, we've got our rats as well. Ugh. Um, could do with a couple mushrooms, maybe. Like, like, the bits they haven't, uh, dug out for a while. Maybe. I don't know. What do you guys think? Comment on that bit. I'm not too sure. Could it do with some mushrooms in, in like, random bits of it? It's, it's difficult, isn't it? But, yeah. Now, one thing I really hope they've done is, like, a grotto thing. Like, a proper Skyrim grotto, because those are awesome. Anyway, there we go. That's what we've got for that bit. Oh, look at these farms. These farms look very good. 
So we have got some lettuces or cabbages or something. So I was using the custom like player head there, and they've also got the beans. That looks really, very really cool. Uh, you just have the pots all there, so it's really nice. And then we got some carrots. Are these carrots? Can't remember. Potatoes. We got some potatoes, <laughs> not carrots. <laughs> that is properly messed up in the holes. I like it. Ah, <laughs> oh, I don't even like that. Like the crow just being in there. Okay. So over here then, what have we got? We got like a little sheddy thing, stuff in it. That's cool. I like stuff. And windmill. How have they got the grindstone doing? Okay. That's it. Why is it? Well, I've got some sort of weird obsession with these. Because I always want to know how it works. Okay. So it grinds somehow. How does it work? Tell me. I don't know how it works. But it works somehow. Um, it'll just be a grindstone thing. So it's interesting they haven't put any sails on it. I don't know. I would have preferred... I like sails in it. Um, one of the things I've seen really like used really well is actually the curtains for it. I don't know if it's possible on this. Then again, the scale of this one's very, very small. <sighs> Tell me what you guys think. Do you think they should have like wool sails on them? Or do you think it should be like the... Yeah, I'll get, grab the texture. Um, it, this is like a personal preference. This is why I'd rather write it in a comment or show it on a video rather than anything else because it doesn't mean that you're gonna get marked down on that but there we go like those ones like possibly using those and, and doing something with that I don't know maybe not <laughs> actually now that I'm thinking about it I don't think it'd work on the scale okay so we've got well very cool we've got something that has a sign that I can't read um, oh that's a very cool little little house it doesn't actually need light I know I was saying about light before but it's had two candles in the last one this one doesn't really need it but I do like the roof and the roof beams and that use. I need to use that uh, extra thing that I was put in a lot better. And that seems to go down. Look at that. I don't see any tiny details around it, but awesome. And here we have a moose. Uh, <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> well, I don't know why I love these. It's like the the horrible horses that I made for the Roman stuff. It just, from a distance, it looks absolutely fine, and then when you get up close, it's hor It's just horrific. But actually, that's a lot better, so I'm not saying it's horrific at all. Yeah, I think there's a little bit... I think in the hills, there, there is bits where it, it just looks a little bit world-edited. It's like this shape here, where it does, like, um, these... So I think there's tiny little bits of, of where it can be smoothed out. Same with this one here, where it's a bit flat. Then again, it's not that flat. Maybe it could just do with like a little bit of a lumpy lump, lumpy lump, uh, or something. I don't know. I don't know. If I'm nuts, guys, please do tell me. Uh, okay, what have we got around here then? And that goes up to that's the gate actually. So actually, we want to work around the outside of the other bits, don't we? No. Well, we're so close to finishing off this side. Let's finish off this side. Right. Okay. So what have we got here? We have got buy your own horse, one thousand gold. Actually, it's ridiculous, isn't it? One thousand gold. Oh, that horse is much better than mine. Alright, you guys win. Elves win. That horse does look better than my horse. Then again, or does it? Comment below <laughs> whose horse looks better. My one from the Roman series or the Elf elf Squad. I'm going to go with Elf Squad. That sounds cool. Um, there you go. So you've got the stables. Um, quite like the interesting use of um, signs going around, actually. Yeah. Kind of interesting. Right, anyway, that's. <laughs> Get rid of all that. I don't like having a lot of stuff there. Got some fire thing there. Let's have a look inside. Cool. This is very Skyrim, isn't it? The the weird Nordic pit thing they have. Okay. Uh, desk with food. Thingamajiggy. Bit stuck, but that's fine. Cool. As long as the weird holes in there, and that would go up to the. That's kind of. I actually quite like that. That's weird. It's like a really good use of space, like using the trapdoors. Obviously, it's like dangerous as hell, but. The smoke has to go up, and then the smoke will just go up through here, and then goes up through this top bit. That is awesome. I like that. I actually like how it just carries through, and it doesn't, like, <sighs> as builders, this would bother me. I would put, like, a chimney on the side, or I would just put nothing up upstairs, but actually these guys have just, I've worked around it. Actually, it's very, very cool. I like that. Definitely. Awesome. Okay. Giles Collies. Okay. Okay. There we go. Nice little sitting down place. Oh, we've got a ladder. We got the right way. Yep. Storage here. What's going on there? Ah, okay, that's just like a board type of thing. 
they got a bed in there. Fair enough. Very small, but like filled with stuff. And then out oh, in the back, more cabbages and lettuce type stuff. They love it. And actually, they do in Skyrim, don't they? They really do. But I like them. I like these like really small ones. I really like this one. I like the, the top piece. Um, to stop it from, you know, when it rains, it goes in there. That I really, really like that. I think it's brilliant. Um, actually, I like the, the smaller Nordic that I've gone for. Because they've got, like, the bigger ones over there. They're very Skyrim-esque and, and very Whiterun-esque, actually. And they've got the smaller ones as well. That's really nice. Anyway, let's go over here. So over here, we have got no trespassing. Okay. Woodcutter-type person, because it's got wood around. Mm, yep, yeah, okay. That, that kind of makes sense. I like the I like the use of buttons as well to do the knobbly bits on it as well. <laughs> and yes, that's what's good. That's what they're called. Okay, here we go. Another little Nordic -y thing. Cool. So we've got a fire pit that isn't being used. Fair enough. Um, I probably would have put in slabs or something. Then again, it's. Would you put in slabs? I'd put in slabs. I think because it it feels like too too deep of a pit. When there's fire in it, it's fine. I don't know. That's what I would have done. I'm not going to put a comment for it. It's not like a comment worthy type of thing. Um, right, okay. And I got another top piece, but that's another smaller top piece. Okay. That's cool. Let's have a look. I also like the hanging moss there. That's cool. Ah, look. There we go. That's the smaller type. A couple of stairs and um, a bit of cobblestone. I actually quite like that. Right. Let's try and find something around here. So we've got... Woof. We've got a dog or a wolf. Obviously there. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, hay pile as well. I didn't even see that. I also want to check around the outside. What I don't want to do with this one is miss stuff. And I bet you I will. I will bet money that I will definitely miss something. Even if it's just one block. And yes, I understand that that means that I have to win. Um, <laughs> anyway. Right, so that's all that bit. That's like the outside bit. Except for down there, which we're going to go to now. I just wanted to have a look around here. See, look at this. No, no, that's not anything interesting. I was expecting this to be something cool. God damn it, guys. Elf Squad, unite again and make a cool thing again. Um, anyway. Right, so we've got those two. <laughs> Great, I've got like two comments, maybe? Three comments, three comments. Okay, three comments so far. <laughs> right. This is very cool. Right, what we've we got here... Big one. I think a couple more bits of um, the old snow dirt thing around here, maybe. Or even just one. I don't know, maybe that's... The, do I use this too much, do you think, guys? Like, do I I do I over-smooth? Maybe it's, is that why I, I like over-smoothing? I don't know, maybe. Okay, what have we got in here? Chest of drawers thing. With chesty thing. Pot. Okay. Mm, yep, fire pit. With um, weird fences on it, but that's fine. You have to jump over this, that doesn't really matter. You, this doesn't really bother me. Some people are like, no, you have to be able to walk around. I don't actually mind, because in real in real life, you would just put one leg over and then put the other leg over and you're done. So that's the way I think about it. I, I know you can't do it in Minecraft, but it's fine. Cool, big picture. This looks good. It's a bit of a bigger house. It's weird, isn't it? There we go. Right, where are my bedrooms? Okay. I've got another bedroom. And there we go, that's it. Okay, cool. No, I like it. Okay. So there we go, that's that house there. So that's like another one of those bigger star houses. I actually quite like how they're like different. Yeah, there we go. Look, like this path I like. This like transition thing. I quite like, anyway. I, I don't like it 100% because I don't like this here. I don't like this straight line. Does that make sense? Because for some reason I only see... I don't see these slabs and stuff. I just see the straight line with blocks, and I always try to break that. It's personal preference. So, and there we go. We've got another one of these Dubery what's it? That's kind of cool. And what have we got over on here then? I quite like. I do like this hill. It, it, like how it's all built up, and then it's got the the wall and stuff. That looks brilliant. We'll have a really good look at that in a bit. Okay, campfire. It's quite nice that it's out as well. Really nice tree there. I like these trees. I've changed them, and also. We've got a tower. Okay. So there's quite a lot of cobblestone in the tower, but then it's got variation. Ah, oh, look at that. I like that. I was going to say, guys, that my first initial thought, and that's why I wanted to fly around with it before speaking, was that it just looks like cobblestone here. Just like pure cobblestone, and then you just got rock. 
Um, and I was like, oh, well, surely there's going to be mossy. I think there probably would be mossy around here and, and stuff of some kind. But it's possible that the mossy is only grown on one side or, or you know, whatever. You know, like, you get those weird plants that only grow on certain rock faces or, or whatever. So I was thinking, well, is it possible for it to be the same with this? And I actually don't know. I don't know if there's, like, certain... Um, certain stuff. Yeah. There we go. Let's go inside anyway. Okay, so this is a tower. I'm sure this looks better than any of the <laughs> Skyrim towers, because I'm sure they're all, like, wrecked, aren't they? Uh, we've got some hanging th furs up. I don't know how I, I tried to say that was a TH sound, but... Anyway, a crazy stepping around thing. This reminds me, actually... sure there was some weird tower... St well, it wasn't really tower stuff. It was in Oblivion, wasn't it, where they had the... <laughs> like the little towel thing and the little t-shirt thing. Um, I think it was in Oblivion where they had the elven, high elven stuff, the... Wow, that was very quick. Um, the high elven stuff that um, was quite interesting. That that actually had like towers like that that feel, I don't know. But no, very, very cool. I actually really like how they've just put it there. Like, they've, they've got emptiness as well. Right, okay. Let's see, that's an interesting dip, so... Oh. Just waiting to see a lion or something. Didn't they? I'm sure they had lions. I've got to play Skyrim again. Remind me, guys. Um, the only thing I would say is there doesn't seem to be that many bushes, but then again, is there in Skyrim? I can't remem really remember. I don't think there actually is that many bushes. No? Here one? No? Maybe? Uh, so we've got another one of the uh, windmills. So they're all the same, but that's fine. Um, I think that yeah, there isn't that much mossy on there at all, actually. So I think, yeah, especially with the river, one next to the river, I think a little bit of mossy or, like, some sort of different mix. I think they could have done with a little bit of different mix in the rock um, uh, to, to variate them, like, to, to differentiate them between the different areas. Um, mix in a little bit of mossy. Oh god, I hate it when it doesn't fit on the line. <laughs> yeah, it helps if I can actually spell windmills. Hopefully this all makes sense. Um, if you guys disagree with any of my comments as well, please do comment. Because I'm sure they guys would uh, do it. But I think there needs to be a little bit mossy. Especially the ones that are near the water do need a little bit. Because um, otherwise it just feels... What, what it feels like to me is there's lots and lots of mossy around here. And there's lots of mossy around here. And then it's almost like you've got a brand new build. Which is possible. It is actually possible, you know, that you could have a brand new build. But from the way that the path's worn. And, you know, has the stones and it's got the dirt in it. I get the feel that it's not that brand new. Um, and so that's why I'm like, it should be a little bit mossy and have a tiny bit in it. Um, hopefully that makes sense as well. If it doesn't, then, then please do say. Okay, we already saw that one anyway. Uh, we've got like more farms and stuff around here. I like that and I really like this. Like, I, I know it's a mossy mess, but I like it. Uh, one of the things I maybe could have done is continued up some of these plants, not just on the grass blocks, and used the, m the like mushroom version. I think that could have happened, possibly, because it feels like... I mean, there is a sudden cutoff in Minecraft anyway, usually with it, but the, the mushroom ones have actually helped us quite a lot. Um... I can't remember how to get the mushroom one. There's an ID value for them anyway. 39. Can I not do anything stupid with them? No. Um, that's fine. It doesn't matter. I'll get one at some point. Find a dark place. I usually just find a dark place. Place them down. There you go. Grab the stick. Grab the thing. I don't know if there's a better way of doing it. Um, but what I mean is, for example, here... It kind of like stops a little bit, so even just having like one there or something, and it's not a natural mushroom because these won't ping off, but like a little bit of grass or something like that. Um, I'll do and this is again like a a thing. Um, mushroom grasses. Uh, 
And it's, a, it's, it's one of those things that you think is going to be a pain in the ass, but actually what you do, or what I do, I grab, I actually grab wool, do, do this. Look at different points where I think it would sit, like that. And then I actually go around and do it, and it's not that bad. And I just switch in these, like that, or, you know, like that. And I just start going around it, and you can kind of see where I'm, what I'm trying to do. Like, that one obviously didn't work, but... Um, try to make it so that then it, it like flows a little bit better. Um, well, at least that's what I try to do. They can they can remove that. At least you get to see it on the video. Um, that's what I mean by that, just to, to try and blend it in, especially on this point. And that's why I came over to here. I was like, ah, no. Because I could have done with like a little bit there. Maybe a couple of the little mossy ones on there. Just to make it feel a little bit more... Not that it's like really, really lush and, and like foresty, but so that it gets just that tiny little bit where you get don't get these gaps. But you might have one like there, for example. And you don't have to put the, down a grass block so you can still make it look very, very, you know, rocky. But like a little bit of grass is just living in there. It just, it fills that tiny little void. Or I think it does anyway. Anyway, what have we got? We've got the crazy rivery thing. I like the, the logs in it, definitely. Um, and underworld is pretty good, except for this floating grass block. Um, which <laughs> which I just found by luck. Uh, underwater. Oh, what's going to dun dun. There we go. Uh, <laughs> that that's just luck. There is no way I should have should have found that. But apart from that, I quite like it. I really like the walls. So let's have a quick scan. Let's have a really good scan over the walls. I think because. It's very interesting, like the, the white run style, I guess, for wall design, is get a cliff and then go crazy on it. I just want to have a look over here as well. Oh, yes. Yes. See, they did something. See, this, I like this detail. This level of detail, I absolutely love. Even though it's like literally just tiny, tiny, teeny, tiny little bits like this. They put in some vines, put in a little bit of that, put in a dirt slab. That's all it is, and then, you know, varied it's in this with uh, the, the rest of the stuff. I love it. I think it's brilliant. I, I don't know. I just love that. But, yeah, that, this, this, like, wall star was just so nuts, isn't it? It is just crazy, and it is in Whiterun, which I, I think is really cool, and they've actually done it really well. I think it just needs a little bit more of that blending, blending in of, uh, of that, that kind of stuff, just to make it feel a little bit more natural. Anyway, let's get through the gates. Right. Let's get rid of all of this stuff that I've just picked up, all that goddamn stuff. Right, and let's go. So we've got the fire, we've got the towers. So defensive wise, I always I never really understood like white run at all. It never really made any sense. I think they could also do with a you know, the stone trapdoor. Just to put in there. It would make it look a little bit more uh, off, I think. Okay, we've got a weird guy there. <laughs> oh no. I used to be a duke, <laughs> like you, but then I got legend. Excellent, that's cool, pay. Uh, <laughs> he did. That's actually really funny. <laughs> that's good. Anyway, there we go. So that's really cool. So I think they could do... Oh, there we go, like this. No, they've done it. Ignore it. What I said. Yes, this is what I wanted to see. <sighs> they've done it lots. Excellent. Excellent. And look, there's a hidden person flying around like crazy. And which one even is it? Oh, it's one of the elves. Anyway, so we've got these. Like these rocks, brilliant, absolutely brilliant. I wanted to see that. I was just about to comment that, and they've done it. I okay, got that. Yeah, I never really understood this about white run. I don't know if you guys did, but it didn't make any defensive sense. And why have they got bananas? <laughs> <laughs> They're just so random. Okay, what we've we got over here. So we've got the weird bridgey thing, and then that goes off in one direction. We've got the whole rat thing there. Rat thing. Um, cool. Nope, it's all looking good. It's all looking properly broken as well. What is this thing? Weird little hut thing with a chest and um and some net in it. Okay. Broken bottle, we've got another raven. Got a dead dude over here, a flower next to him. I quite like this. I really like this bit. I can think I I can tell that they've like spent a lot of time on this this part of it. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Let's have a look at all that. Look at this. Side of things. And a whole back oh my god god damn it look at this this looks really nice I like this especially like the, the random pond I think it could have done with a couple of leaves in the in the bottom just like weeds and pondweed and stuff but I always go on about that and I'm going to stop going on about that 
Uh, I'm not too sure about the random bit of dirt here. Because they could use the grass and just go and cycle all the way through and get the grass snow, possibly. Um, that's fine. Oh, we've got dead people there. Um, oh, is this a giant's camp? No, it can't be a giant's camp because it hasn't got the weird cheese thing. The weird mammoth cheese, which... Ugh. I have to fix the lighting glitch. That is quite funny. <laughs> Oh my god, really? That is actually quite funny. At first, as, this, as soon as I saw that, I was just like, okay, that is got to be them messing up. And I was like, no, there's no way they could have messed this up. <laughs> They've actually done it by choice. <laughs> so that, that eagle there has caught a rabbit. Uh, that is actually the first time I've ever seen that. And it actually just has made me properly chuckle. Oh my god, that's cool. Um, oh, ducks. There we go. So we've got some ducks. We've got a nice little river. We've got some... What's going on here? Weird little camp thing. Oh, I like the campfire though with the little stone bits. Oh, awesome. Look at all this. There we go. So that's what we've got on that side. Very cool though. I like... Th it's weird. I didn't expect to see this on this side. But this... The level leading to on here feels a little bit more than over there. I don't know what you guys think. Maybe. Because I'm really, really good over them on, the, on that side. I don't know if it's just like... I just like that style a little bit better. And it's possible that it's that. Anyway, we've got... No! My internet has died. Alright guys, I'll catch you in a second. Okay, and I'm now back. Hopefully this is going to stick for a little while because my internet has just died like three concurrent tides. It just it just seems to just go bleh and gone. Anyway guys, let's continue the tour. So, awesome drawbridge. Awesome like thingamajiggies that go into there. And they've actually used the invisible glass on this. You don't have to use it. But it's interesting, isn't it? Uh, what you can do... You can grab the good old stick, shove it in the air, and you should be able to delete these. Like that. So then you have no invisible glass, and then you can actually walk through it, and it's really weird. Uh, it depends if you want to have it as a sport. Obviously, I can't really get that back now without pinging it. But that's one way to do it. You just literally stare up in, into space. Space. And, and go for it that way. But I love the, the little gaps that have been created underneath the, or above these uh, stairs. I think it's brilliant. Now one thing about here, so underneath, oh I like that, I like this block used for the underneath part as well as the on top, I know it's a bit weird because <laughs> I think it's mainly for the on top texture but that's cool. We've got the water that goes down through here but I think it needs a bit of mossy and a mushroom right here. Mushroom. Um, and then that goes up here, that's all I look through here, so there we go. I like the flies though. And then there we go, look, look, look hanging moss. Awesome. So they've they've done it in bits, but not everywhere. So it they they know the ideas. They know what they're doing to do those. It's just the tiny tiny details. Um, I just always find it it helps create it like make it more alive. At the same time, I think they're trying to keep very very true to Skyrim, which is yeah difficult. <laughs> there we go. So we got that. We got this weird roof thing, and it doesn't stick out over on this side. It does on that side. Interesting. Okay, we've got fire there, we've got, uh, we've got, good god, you're drunk, go home, please, um, there we go, what's his name, I'm sure, is that reality skin, I can't even remember, I can't even remember, I don't even know, I like this room though, oh yeah, they actually do have these in Skyrim, don't they, I think I explored it like once, this part, I like the shelf though, that's cool. Like, it looks really weird and like funky and stuff with the stairs, but that is awesome. Right. And the fire there, that's very cool. It's very, very cool. There, they're cool. They're cool. Um, right, and let's go up here. Let's go up. Let's go up. It's weird, isn't it? It's like we're exploring a place that probably a lot of us know, hopefully. At least they're like drawbridge things. Maybe they are. Something to do with them. I don't know. Um, or or just where the chain is tied down or, or something. Something. Something, something. Right, what have we got here? A weird guard man. With a very thin waist. <laughs> awesome. Oh, man, that's wicked. Um, that's all part of the other defense there. Okay, okay. Got the wall there. We've got some more stuff. We've got lots of stuff around. There we go. So that's that defense there. That's the main gates. We're not going in there yet. Making the... L oh, yeah. Oh, Mike. Mike. Mike the liar. There we go. If you can say his name, you know who he is, probably. But there we go. 
Oh dear, what is he going on about? So this is like a Khajiit camp type thing, and I quite like this. It's very cool. It's very nice. Yeah, no, that's awesome. Cool, I was, I was wondering if they're going to put that in. So I'm really glad that they actually did. Can you actually... Ah, right, okay. I didn't know this tower was actually connected to the back of this. I actually didn't know that. For some reason I thought it was part of this, uh, but obviously not. No, oh, that's cool. That's cool. What is this part? Is it just like a weird wooden post? I guess it is. Right into the city. The bit that we all know. Come on. Let's go. And let's get lost for another four hours. Um, right. Guard place in here. So first we've got a weird cell using the, the, the new trapdoors, which this is an awesome use of these new trapdoors. I want to get in there. Damn it. What have we got to say on it? Wolf. Wolf. So we've got a dog in there. Okay. See? Little bits of detail. Oh, I like this. That's so cool. I did not notice that. What? Does this exist in Skyrim? Is there some sort of weird passageway thing? Or is this sort of one of their things? Either way, best fern I've ever seen placement. It, I know that that's a snow layer, but that does not feel like a snow layer. I don't know what I mean. But that's awesome. I like this. This is very, very cool. That's so well hidden. I like it. And this goes up to here. It's the gatehouse part of it. Ooh, look at this. I'm sure this is a bit you can't go on to. Can you get us the gatehouse? We have no clip on uh, Skyrim, which I've never used. I wish I used in my Skyrim series. Oh my god. Right, anyway. Cool. I like this. I like how it's all broken. That is looking awesome. Okay, so we got that. And then we got the wooden, weird, nordic thing there. Look at the tower like that. That is so busted up. That's awesome. I really, really like that. Anyway, I have to go down here. You get onto those ones, do you? And that's that's the like barracksy type building. I'm sure, it's the barracksy type building. Yeah, it's got to be the barracks. Look at it. Like this, though. Look, they got a washing out. When you're doing your barracks duties, you have to have clean underwear, uh, as you well know. Hopefully, I like these though. I like the little wooden bits on top. It something about that makes it feel scurrymy, doesn't it? It's like it's really odd. But there we go. We got that. So I look down here. Little post down there. <laughs> it's so cool. They've done a very, very good job at this. This part is absolutely brilliant. Like the, the, the white run just feels style stylistically like white run. Right, let's have a look at the street. Obviously, we haven't got the, the extra bit because the extra bit would stick out like here, wouldn't it? Really, and they wouldn't get in the mountains or anything like that. So actually, it's been scaled down, but at the same time, it feels very good. The path is awesome. Even though it's mostly the, the mossy stone, it's got like bits of this free kind of seven in it. It's done really well. Oh, it's awesome. Look, we've got another bird. Okay, that's that might be overused, maybe. Or is that so that I see a bird picking up a thing and look, they're flying around again. Bully flying elves. Right, let's go and have a look in here. So this has got to be the barracks building. Cool. I don't know why. Th is it? This is for defensive purposes, maybe. To stop that raven. Um, there we go. Cool. 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 All good. And we've got a barracksy sleepy bit in here. We've got quite a lot. Actually, that's very good. I like these big boards. They work very well. There we go. That's it in that building. Unless the way up. New. No. That's fine. Doesn't need to be. I even like that little tree as well. It's very cool. Right. So we've got War Maiden. Everybody should know War Maiden. <laughs> don't know why I tried to do it in an American accent, accent there and failed. Um, War made in, of course. We've got that. So we've got leather tanning. We've got the actual smoothie part. There is this here, right here. That is correct. I know that actually. Oh, that funnel type design is absolutely brilliant. I'm stealing that right now. <laughs> I'm not. Obviously, I won't steal it, but I'll I'll use it. <laughs> That's brilliant, dudes. Awesome. Um, the fire thing there, very Skyrim. This whole rivery thing here is very Skyrim. Uh, this is the one that, oh, that's the one that I saw with the dirt slab from earlier. Okay, cool. I want to know where that was from. Should I fire that one? No, I can't. I can't. Uh, I'm getting too distracted. The problem is. Ah, oh, it's brilliant. It's very, very. This plot is very good. Okay, and over here we have possibly the smeltery thing, the smelter. Is that a smelter? Maybe. I don't know. I'm not sure if it is or not. So I'm sure there is a smelter around, but there we go. We got that. It's it's like warp. It's like not warped. It's um, 
changed, of course, to make it fit and work. You've got like a little wooden thing at the back there. So like lines. Now, is there actually a, like a biome or something to get this? Like without another thing? No, it isn't. It's just luck. Because I've wanted to get just this like rope for like every so often. To make it look like they're doing the washing and they've just got a line. But yeah, I don't know. No, that's cool. Brilliant. Got the well. Can you see? Oh my god. You can go down into the well. I was going to say, can you see into the well? You don't need to. You can actually just go down into it. Biome issue. Yes. Minus 200 points. Um, No, not really. I'm not going to minus 200 points. But it is a minus... Uh, why is this? I'm comment worthy. Um, no. This means I'm lugging out, unfortunately. So, I'm going to lose connection. No. Why do you die, internet? No. No. Okay, we're back again. And, uh, my god, I'm going to kill my internet people. So I've already put the sign. I've just said, uh, by mistake, unless you uh, use the table to get water. <laughs> uh, it does happen every so often, like the by mistakes, but it's one of the things about good thing was reviews, you actually get them found. I like the path. Oh, this path around it is awesome. No, don't go there yet. Oh, my god. Right, anyway. Even this is awesome. I like the. Oh, it's brilliant. The atmosphere here just looks... Why is there a plate on the floor? Shh. I like the wood. I like the firewood there. Oh, I like that. It does look like War Maidens. Now, does it look like War Maidens on the inside? Because I know exactly what it looks like. Not quite. Okay. I just disconnected again. Just in case you guys didn't notice. But anyway, right. Not quite there. Reason being that there is actually a really, really open roof. But... I'm going to let it go because it's still awesome. So we've got lots and lots of weapons on the show. We don't have any weapons like the uh, desert iron plate, though. That could do with here, you know, so you get the sword. Shields, maybe? I don't know. Mm. Okay, so we've got big stairs go up here that goes to a nice little bed. That fits. I actually quite like this. Look at that. I didn't even notice that. I know that they've used the, the board here, but I just thought they used it for... Why not? Um, but that really does work. Cool. Nope, I like it. I like it. It would do. Very good. Right, so we've explored those two. Let's go up to, yeah, let's go up to this one. Uh, the Drunken Huntsman. That's obviously the Arch Dude. There's that house there. These are very cool styles, though. Love the messiness of them. It's brilliant. And I didn't even notice that one, like the big clothesline. Right, okay. Let's go. Oh, also, this is awesome. Snow layers of, of grass. Brilliant. Ah, oh, brilliant. That's absolutely brilliant on that bit. So I can tell that they've like put the most of their effort into like, the town, which makes sense. I just was looking around and fighting around for ages on the other bits. Ah, oh, look at this. Yep. Cool. Cool. Just cool. Really good. Like it. Yep. But, is there any bows around? Of course, again, the iron pressure plate, there is a bow for it. So, um, and this is an if possible. Uh, get the iron bow. It might be one of those things that I've just forgotten about while building it. Because I've done that before where I've forgotten about extra blocks we've got. And I just like hit myself after I figure out that I should have used it all. I could have used it. These are all good though. Yep, absolutely fine. Really, really good. I like it. Yeah, it's fine. Fine, fine, fine. Good. That works. Right, okay. Let's go into town. So we've got a little cart there. Um, now this is... Ah, oh, Breeze Home. <gasps> this is Breeze Home. This is, this is literally the home you can have. Oh, awesome. Let's go around the back first because I'm weird. Let's explore the back. Yeah, I like, I like this path. And this goes to a weird... Okay, that... Nope. Uh -huh. He's flying into the wall. And he is flying into a wall. There we go. Okay. Apart from that, though. <laughs> it's like the little things in life, isn't it? Another stone. Let's have a look in Breeze Home. Look at this. So, we've got Fire Pit. Very cool. I like, yeah, the, the little slabs on the side. Just, you know, when I was talking about the pit earlier, it definitely makes it work. Definitely makes it work. Okay, and then that there. Ah, that's why. I was wondering why there wasn't anything on there. Does that make sense? 
There you go, got a little pantry in here. Cool. It's very good, isn't it? Got the old room in there. Cool. And up here, got a storage room. And then this goes around to a bedroom. That's it's fine. It's very cool. Like using the upper space and everything like that. It's very, very Skyrim. Let's close the door and be polite. Not with a stick, because that'll move it. Okay, anyway. There we go, that's what we get. Right, next, that's the Huntsman still. So this here, we've got the cart. Uh, the carts. The, not the carts, the... Uh, what's it called? The uh, stool. Why can't I think today? I think it's because my brain is melted and, and my internet is killing me. Uh, I really like this, you though, using the, the tables, actually. It really looks cool. So you've got, like, the meat meat person. I mean, it's crazy meat lady. <laughs> crazy meat lady. <laughs> anyway, we've got... Uh, Bellafor's General Goods. This guy always, for some reason, whenever I read the name, reminds me of that really creepy guy that steals from the dead in uh, Oblivion. And some people will know what I mean. Some people have just played Skyrim. But this is very good. Like this area here, perfect. Right, so there's his General Goods. A little bit cramped. Doesn't matter. It's still fine. And he's gone upstairs. I like the window. I really like this, all the stuff and like junk, because that's pretty much what he has. <laughs> it's just like random junk. And look at that. He's got a little weird... Gigantic coffin. That's, it's just a gigantic coffin. <gasps> People haven't actually done coffins that are open, have they? Oh my god, that's got me some got me thinking now. Just for random coffins and stuff. Why am I thinking about coffins? Uh, very odd chap, aren't I? Um, from England. Oh. Um, anyway, we've also got uh, Acacia's Cauldron. Now this place, I used to... Uh, there was some, some sort of quest. I remember just getting loads of flowers. I really like that, though. I don't think it's supposed to be down. It is supposed to be down. That's really odd that that's supposed to be down. I was thinking it's supposed to be up, but okay. That's fine. But, yep, yeah, no, that's fine. Got a plant there. It's got another plants. We've got, like, the little doobly was it thing there. That's cool. Works. It just works. It's very good. And upstairs, it's got <laughs> that's a, such a cute kitchen, isn't it? Like, I, I imagine that being downstairs. It's really weird. Like a little hobbit home. It's not really a hobbit home. It's just it feels very rounded. That's cool though. It's very very cool. And the gigantic wheels of cheese that everybody seems to have in Skyrim, though there's no cows. I actually haven't seen a single cow in Skyrim, but they all have them. And cool. There we go. That's wicked. Oh, might help if I should go through the door. Uh, we've got the another stool thingy, Jiggy here, and another stool thing here. Here, I like how they're all at angles. It's brilliant. Okay. I'll go in there in a sec. I don't want to explore around here first to see what's going on. Oh, so we've got the graveyard around here. We've got some more pots and stuff. I just want to see if there's any secrets around this bit. Look. This is nice and detailed. This is what I wanted to see. Elf Squad, this is what I want to see. And this type of stuff. So I've got a weird pile of gravel and uh, some graves. Mm, maybe didn't want to see all of that. But, you know, yeah, it's very good. No, I like it. Right. The Band of Mare. Oh, yeah. Big Skyrim fire pit. Mm -hmm. So, different layout because of the size of the thing. From the front, it does look like it, though, doesn't it? I'm sure it does. Yeah, so there you go. There's the, there's the layout, like, change and everything. Cool. Kid, okay. Nope, very good. Uh -huh. I like the drop down as well. That's very nice. Oh, what have we got over here? Okay, this is like the back door type of thing. Is the back door? I'm sure it's the back door. Oh, this is the bar. Okay, so the bar's over there. So it's a little bit different. Like, it, it's just a little bit changed around, that's all. The thing is with Minecraft again, unless you make it really big, you can't get them to fit. There we go, got some rooms in there. Where's that weird lady that you have to sell to those other weird chaps that went in the gate and aren't allowed in? <laughs> you know what I mean, that mission. So yeah, no spoilers here. Mainly because I can't remember the plot lines or names. <laughs> so, <laughs> there's no danger of that. No, I actually quite like that. Very good. Okay. So we've got the water thingamajigs going down there. I'm not too sure. Now, this is this is me being very picky, but there is mud down there. Mud. It should be stone. Not mud. But I'm not going to comment that, because that is literally me being so stupidly picky. Uh, you can't mark down somebody for that, can you? Maybe? Detail? Yeah, you could probably mark somebody down. Ah, oh, look at this. Right, okay. So then we've got this wall here. Oh, actually, before we do that, let's have a look around the back here. Because th this type of detail stuff I don't want to miss. I've loved this little cove thing. Whoa, that's cool. 
So it's almost like that. It's like um, this should come this way, doesn't it? You know what I mean? Like, obviously, it doesn't do that in Minecraft, but wicked. No, no, really, really wicked. I, I like the little flowers around as well. Don't really notice those, but nice little tree thing. Oh, that's a little. Oh no, I really like that. That's cool. Right, so we've done that little section there. That took us that ages, didn't it? Sorry, guys. I'm just taking my time with this. There isn't the the red keep. It there's they ran out of space, which is really unfortunate. But they've done so much more of it. You know, they've got they've got the landscape in. They've got got little bits and pieces of everything else, and they've got most of the town in. So to be honest, I'm not surprised that they couldn't fit in the keep. That would be quite big, unless unless we give them this pot here and they start building the keep and the rest of Skyrim. And we just keep on giving them plots and just keep on giving them the, the road to build on until Skyrim is complete. That would be great. Yeah, we'll just get them to do that. They won't mind. Uh, enslavement for all time. <laughs> Building Skyrim. It's awesome though. It's really, really awesome. Um, but it actually shows how how well um, like Conquest does with, with Skyrim builds. It really does. We got a nice tree, dead tree thing there. This feels very, very big, but it's it's very cool. It just feels a little bit empty on this side, and it's just because it's missing the bloody red keep. It's weird. But, oh well. Oh, we got your Vasca. I think, because of what we've got left, I think I need to do this part of the town first, and then I'll do your Vasca last. Uh, and the steps and all that kind of stuff. Because it, it kind of makes sense, I know. I don't know if people will be about to be like, oh, what's it now? But you can always skip through the video, so. Thank God for YouTube and its ability to do stuff. So, there we go. This is the path. By the way, guys, do you ever... This is just a general question. I've still got the flying elf around. Do you guys ever, 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 um, go through this entrance? Or do you always seem to go through the ring? And then if you need to go to these houses, go around there. Because I'll be honest. The first time I played Skyrim, I never went into this area at all. Like, ever. And there was the Battleborns and the something. I don't know. It was a bit weird. But, yeah. All that kind of stuff. I never, I never came into it. This is very... What's going on here? Has it been has it been built? Possibly. Ah, huh, look at that. That's very nice. I like that. That's really awesome. Now this is very very cool. This is currently in construction. Wicked. You don't see that every so often, especially when it looks like it's been built here and then at the back it hasn't been. And it's got like you know it's either been smashed through or or it is being actually built up. That's cool. As well as the weird eggs. Anyway. Right. So we go around there. We've got a nice tree there. I like this. Really like that. That's awesome. Uh, we've got lots of fire around that. Okay. Another tree around here. Lots of bits in the back. Yeah, it's got to be being built. It must be. Um, there we go. It's still a little bit of hanging moss. Tiny little bit of hanging moss. And what have we got around here? Some dead people there with some rats. Okay. Uh... <laughs> Cool, I, I think. Water coming from nowhere. Usually I would tell them off for having water coming from nowhere. But that's how uh, White Run works, so top points for it. <laughs> but you guys know what I mean. It, it's just so weird, isn't it? I oh, like you can drop into this hole. It's just so weird, because Skyrim is actually like that. Like, water does spring from nowhere, from the Red Keep, and, and seems to just grow as a river as it goes along. It's just so odd. Okay, so we've got all that. We've got the big fire thing here. I, is this the... What is this? Is this the Land of the Dead type of thing? Not Land of the Dead, but is it the, the Undead Catacombs or something? Bed there. Got like a thingamajiggy there. Bed there, okay. Oh, and that goes up to here, okay. And up here... There's a, there's a little separate bit there. And we've got a couple of beds. Okay, cool. That works. Let's drop back down. Cool. There we go. Okay. So that's that there. See, that felt so small, didn't it? It's weird, but it actually isn't. Is it because it's just quite open in this bit? Ah, uh, yeah. It's quite. It's quite open. It's got the the beams and stuff. Makes sense. Makes perfect sense. Okay. What's around the back here? Gravelly gravel and some wheels. And some washing, and some pots, and a rat, and some other stuff around here. And that goes to that bit. Okay, cool. So we've got these two houses here. This house looks really, really good. And really interesting. Now this, I think, is the one where you get that weird glimmer, gleam, gleam. When you go into the, the 
Oh, it's called the grotto thing. It is, this is the place where you meet that crazy lady uh, that can't be asked to go and get anything. So I got this looks good, like an altery type thing. I got another altery type thing over here. Uh, we got another like thing there. All different colours and different things. These are all the different gods. Very good. And up here, got more stuff. To, okay, there we go. There. I was wondering if there's a way through. <laughs> there we go. There it is. <laughs> so I didn't see it. I knew, I knew there would be a way through. There we go. Cool. Got a storage and seats and a couple beds and. Yep. Totally cool. I think it's a very interesting use of space as well because of the shape of the building. It's actually allowed them to make it very circular. Actually, it is like it's a circle actually. But on the outside, it doesn't look like a circle. It looks like the, the square bits coming out on each side. That's very cool. Very, very cool. And then what have we got in this one? This building here. Is this, the, is this Battleborn? Is this the Battleborn one? I've got a big pit. I, I don't know. I'm sure it's Battleborn. I'm, I don't know. Tell me, you guys, if, uh, if I'm wrong. If I'm completely nuts and have no idea what I'm talking about, as usual. Ah, oh, okay. There you go. You slip around that, and then you can go up here. Cool. Up here. You have to step over this. It's a bit dodgy, but... Could maybe do a banister on that bit. Even if it's just some fences. It could be the simple. What do you think? Maybe? I don't know, maybe that's just me. I, you guys tell me. I like this again, using that to, to go all the way up to the top. I think it's brilliant. Uh, there we go, got a bed in there. Weird little windowy thing. Lots of detail on it. And over here? Nope. And over here? A pot. Okay. That's fine. There's not many beds in this place, and how do I get out? I get out down here. There you go. So, no, nah, that's fine. It's still cool. It's still cool. That's just the news, anyway. I like how you just walk into a pillar and just like, ow. Ow. But actually makes sense. It doesn't, it doesn't, it's weird. It, it feels different, doesn't it? Right. So guys, what have we got left? We have got the path. So here we go. Let's go at the path anyway. Let's let's walk the path up to where the red keep would be if it was there. No, it's not. Look at that. It's all like stone brick. Our dragon's reach. It's not red keep. I'm thinking of goddamn Game of Thrones. Who was? I I bet you some of you guys were definitely must have been screaming in the comments. So I finally just heard them. Uh, and this cave. Ooh. I like that. Look, this is like a Draugr cave type of thing. I love it when people do that on the other uh, edge of plots. Oh yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ, sorry guys. Um, right, 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 right. Your Vasca, your Vasca, your Vasca. Actually, this weird hut first. See, I like these as well. Again, like this coffin type thing. <laughs> it's just different, isn't it? Okay, tiny little house. We have now seen the tiny little house, and he's still flying around. We can say you're flying around. Please do not fly around. Actually, I think they both attacked me. But I've got this original command called hide all. And then they're gone. You guys have that command too. So they are probably flying around right in front of my face right now. But they can't. They don't know that I can't see them. So here anyway is your Vasca. I'll turn it off in a little bit anyway. Um, here is your Vasca. The upside down boat thing. Um, first I want to see it around the outside. I want to have a look at. There we go. There's the well. Look at that. Cool. Nice detail in the well. Brilliant. And it's not a table. Perfect. Got fires around the outside. We've got the washing thing, maybe. And the place where they all stand and are like, woo. And um, stuff. Cool. Nice outside area. Training bit with the weird legs. That's odd, but okay. I'm guessing the player heads have just bugged out because we've had a couple of weird little problems like that lately. Um, and then obviously, oh, I've, I've got, no, I just saw that. I've got birds down there. I like this. No, around the coins? Or is that seeds? No, it's got to be coins, isn't it? Unless it is seeds. I don't know. Anyway, the big doors into your Vasca. The gigantic pit of fire and seats and all that kind of stuff. Now, can we go down here? <gasps> they forgot it. The, the axe thing that's broken on the wall and the steps to go down. I'm ashamed of you. Shame. No, I'm not. I'm obviously not. But okay, I got that table. So I think they could have possibly done that. They could have done the understairs the, where they got the weird rooms and stuff. Um, they might have had to make it quite deep. I think that's probably the problem that they had that that pit there. Uh, it's difficult, isn't it? There we go. That's the outside. So 
love that the the stone bits around this are awesome using the trapdoors look really good and like structured and then up here not there not not underneath that however that would be <laughs> uh, anyway this place up here is of course the skyforge so the skyforge which always sounds like some sort of uh like it sounds like it should be in like the avengers or something skyforge as some sort of like evil weapon thing or it should be in star wars as the or is that Starforge? I, uh, the the one that's in, actually in Knights of the Old Republic, number one. For you guys that are like, no, that's the Death Star, because I hope nobody ever said that. Um, anyway, really good, really really good. Let's have a look at the final secret. Dun dun dun! Underneath the Skyforge, I've forgotten this entire plot line. Why? I I knew this room existed, and I don't know why. Well, I've got to play Skyrim again. Um, I've really got to play Skyrim again. But I think overall, guys, this was a brilliant plot. I don't know. I, I think I'm going to give it a 9. It's difficult. There's tiny little bits of detail that I think it could be doing, which would get it up to a 10. So I'm going to give it a 9.5 out of 10. If you guys do disagree that I've knocked off tiny marks. But the thing is, I know these guys are going to just get in there and correct these tiny little things. The ones that are my personal opinion, they don't affect the marking. Um... But yeah, they'll they'll fix it and they'll get a 10 out of 10, like, straight away. So, it's a brilliant plot. And, yeah, it's just awesome overall. So, well done to the Elf Squad. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go and get the names because I can never say their names. Anyway, I'm just going to do show all. Uh, which should make them appear. Oh, they're gone. Anyway, they're gone. They're really gone. They're dead. They're here. There's one. There's uh, Aerolith, who was one of the helpers on it. Um... There was obviously as well a Herendil, Erelith, and Frandil as well. So there you go. Fra no, Th Thalan Thalanil. Thalanil. So there you go. Thank you very much, guys. Um, awesome, awesome plot. It's just got those tiny little points, I think. And hopefully this video that is very, very long <laughs> does, does show it off and do it justice. And tell me, guys, what have I missed? You you folks there. And also, um, do you think there's anything other, other things that you want them to improve on this plot and all that kind of stuff? I think... Overall, it's captured a lot of the, the very, like, White Run style completely. Like, as soon as I warped here, I knew that it was White Run. So, yeah, it's just brilliant. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Hopefully, you've enjoyed this video. If you have, comment, like, subscribe. If you want to go, if you want to come and check it out for yourselves, the IP is in the description. It's dakacraft.nitrous.it. You guys do need 1.7 Minecraft and Optifine. Uh, Optifine will let you see all these extra cool blocks. And if you just grab Conquest as well. But all of that kind of stuff, uh, like Conquest Texture Pack and the IP is in the description. So just get yourself a 1.7 with Optifine. God, that's a lot of talking. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. I will see you on the next one.